So following breaking news tonight out of Alston, a big fire at an apartment complex. Several firefighters are hurt. Dozens of people are burned out of their homes. This fire had firefighters scrambling for hours. In fact, right now, crews are still working to put out the hot spots. And we want to show you some time-lapse video where you will see this fire just explode in size with thick smoke filling the sky this evening. Let's get right to Jim Armstrong, who is live on the scene in Alston. Jim? David, the latest estimates tonight from the Red Cross is 90 people, a lot of them families and small children, homeless tonight as a result of this massive fire that fire officials will tell you took a lot of effort and energy to get under control. Black, choking smoke billowed from this fire, turning day into night as crews struggled to get flames under control. As you notice, that you notice the heavy smoke was, was blowing towards Harvard Street, so there was a wind condition. And thank God this building didn't have any exposure to the wind, but the smoke condition off the roofs was blowing this way because we had the wind pushing it. This nine alarm blaze was the city's biggest since last spring's Back Bay fire that killed two firefighters. I'm sure there's a lot of apprehension, a lot of cautious understanding of how fire rapidly can spread and I'm sure people have every you know given it a second thought. Flames started on the first floor of the back porch of this apartment building. When they hit the roof they moved inside and then spread to all three buildings. Eight apartments total. Dozens of now homeless families were loaded onto T buses awaiting help from the Red Cross. Yeah, I have some stuff inside my apartment. You know, my, I can't go inside. He was asleep and one of the guys started yelling and the roads that was getting fire firing and the, I think everybody got out safely. For a while there was fear the whole building would collapse. Firewalls inside did their job stopping the flames from spreading farther even after part of the roof fell in. Very tough fight. The fight is on a dead end. Uh, we had some water problems with one hydrant down at the end of the dead end and um, it was a very difficult fight to get water on. Back live here now, more than five hours later, crews are still dousing hot spots with water to make sure everything's out. That's crucial because the next step is for inspectors to get into the property and begin the work of trying to figure out just how this fire started. Five Boston firefighters with minor injuries as a result of fighting this blaze, but the commissioner himself said things could have been a lot worse, and for that, the entire department is both lucky and thankful. We're live in Austin tonight. Jim Armstrong, WBZ News.